on this bumpy beer tasting from St. Bernardus Trappistry. I have their trip hell. <laughs> St. Bernardus is out of Watu, Belgium. Um, the name of the brewery, I'm not even going to go into it because it's it's all Germanic, but St. Bernardus, uh, they are a trappistry, and this is their Trapel. Um, so I did their uh, apt 12 um, quad ale, and uh, I prefer the Trapels and the uh, singles, blondes, whatnot. Um, over the new bells and the quads, so I wanted to try something I might favor a little bit more. Uh, this comes in at 8% ABV, and it is best by September 2nd, 2021. So it's within its freshness date. Um, that's the label art. You got the famous uh, St. Bernardus monk there holding a <laughs> of uh, of brew and smiling, very happy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pour this into a glass and give it a tasting. It's got a nice hiss off the bottle. Um, use my lucky four-leaf clover bottle opener. Had not foam over the top, but it almost did. It's got a very white head, uh, small, medium bubbles all mixed in, very clear and super carbonated. As you can see, the carbonation just flying up from the bottom of the glass there. Uh, it's got this kind of uh, straw to pale gold coloration. Yeah, I'm going to go with more pale gold. Um, very, very, very clear. It looks very nice. I'm going to go in for the aromas. All right, this smells like my favorite Trapel type aromas. Um, it's It's... Got a like a bready note, uh, kind of like a, a bit of like a, a darker bread, a brown bread, some banana, banana bread, banana bread. I think sums that up nicely. Um, some bubblegum notes coming up, and there's this like clove and spiciness in the aromas as well. It smells like the perfect trapel. Um, quite nice. Quite nice. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and for the uh, flavors now. So first swig, cheers. pick up on like a breadiness. There's uh, some clove spice coming through. Uh, there's a little bit of like a, a Belgium candy note, um, almost like a hard candy that's been melted down. And Belgian, Belgian candies are pretty much made out of beet sugar. Um, but you get a little bit of that candy note in there. It seems to be a low side bitterness that does uh, follow through, kind of balances it out so it doesn't let this one be too sweet. Um, it's, it's well balanced. It's not. It's not cloyingly sweet at all, um, and it's not super bitter. It's just you get those nice notes uh, of which I was just talking about. Um, this seems to have like a, a kind of light to like a medium body to it. Uh, there's no detectable alcohol in this. Uh, well hidden. There's no warming in the chest, anything like that. Um, 
it has a very high carbonation level to it. A little bit of banana in that uh, in that belch. Um, yeah, this is this is a world class tripel. Um, this is everything that I've liked about the tripel style. Um, pretty expensive beer uh, for a four pack. I think one of these eleven point two fluid ounce bottles. Four pack of these cost me twenty dollars. Um, so it's not it's not something that's doable all the time. Um, but for the style, this is this is perfect. This is what the style is based off of. Basically, um, loving it. Highly recommend if you've never had a Saint Bernardus Trapel. Um, if you've never had a Trapel want to try the style this is one to go to this has all the notes that you need um, highly enjoyable uh, and it's not even the highest ABV trapel. I think this is actually the lowest ABV trapel I've ever had uh, most of them have been you know brewed in America by um, you know breweries that either have a Germanic uh, descent uh, from you know they're, they're kind of German style brews, or they're just going after the Trapel style. And uh, this one being a lower ABV, it, it's very nice. It's, it's got all the flavor notes that you need and want. Highly recommended, once again, from Bumper Road Brewery. Uh, so, for the St. Bernardus Trapel, go out and get it, guys. It's great. Um, just, uh, yeah, open up your wallets a little bit. So cheers and thank you for watching.